Morning guys, Dave Camber at the Pathfinder School. First day of trapping season. We got a few animals here. I'm going to show you guys how to rope skin a coon today. It's a process that I saw on the internet. I've practiced it a couple times. Works pretty good. Um, really, really good for raccoon and fatty animals anyway. They're kind of a pain in the butt to skin, but this rope technique works really, really good for pulling on that skin so that you can remove it very easily. So I'm gonna show you that technique today. Stay with me. Okay, so for skin this coon goes, Usually for my skin and cuts, things like that, I prefer these old cheap moras. They're about the sharpest thing around. They hold an edge for a long time. They work really, really, really well. So first thing you're gonna do with this thing, and this one happens to be a female here, is you're gonna make the money cut, what they call the money cut. And you want that money cut to basically follow the line of that fur from the ankle down to the vent and then back up and out. So I'll usually just take my knife and stick it right in behind the heel and poke it right into the skin and just follow that down right to the vent just like that sometimes it's better if you just do this on the ground and get it over with and take that cut straight over to the vent and then come back and do the same thing on the other side right behind that heel pad straight down to the vent just like that okay and make sure that that cut goes all the way through on both sides just like that okay now we're good. Now what we're going to do is we're going to strip some of the skin off of the foot on both sides just like this. We're going to pull it around on both sides and that's where I use this little stick. And what I'll generally do is once I can get a finger in there pretty easy all the way around I'll shove that stick in there and work it around until I get through the other side, like that. And then I'll put my knife in right on top of that stick, just like this, and come up and cut that open, just like that, okay? And you can see I missed it just a little bit right there. You're not gonna use this part of the fur anyway. It's really not that major of an issue. And then you can strip that down a little further by hand just like that okay and you're gonna do the same thing on the other side so we'll grab this guy and strip that skin back off of that leg just like that work our fingers in there behind that meat And once I get my finger in there, that's when I'm going to follow it with that stick. And that stick really is just to guide my knife more than anything else and keep my fingers out of there. And then I'm just going to slide my knife right in there on top of that stick, like we talked about, and make the cut. Just like that. And then again, I can strip that right down, just like that. Okay? If I can get that vent pulled off now, that's all the better for me. Just like that. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. Now we can hang this dude up on the gambrel. Okay, so now what we wanna do is we wanna to try to get this, get some separation on this tail. Get my hand in there again. You know, these sticks work really good for that. Just stick it in there behind that tail and shuck that down a little bit. And you've got that tailbone exposed in there. And then we're going to split that. We're going to come down here 
on that tail and we're going to try to get it centered and we're going to split that out about an inch to an inch and a half down okay something like that we're going to split that tail out and now we want to separate from that tailbone again with the stick coon's got a lot of fat in them you're not going to see that's all fat right there You might have to trim a little bit when you're pulling against that tail. There you go. See how that's stripping down now? And I can strip, I can pull that down too a little bit as I'm going, just like that. And now my aim is to pull that completely straight off of there <clears throat> with either a tail stripper or a pair of pliers. go just like that okay and then we'll split the rest of that tail out here in just a few minutes now got a little bit of back sinew sticking together there sticking to it there okay now we've got it this far I'm just gonna pull a little bit just like this and this is where the rope is gonna come in right now okay I got that thing stripped down because it's warm it was easy to strip but man, look at the fat on that guy, will you? All right, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this rope. I'm gonna readjust that camera just a little bit so you guys can see better. Okay, we've got a couple things going on with this rope. First of all, we have a loop tied in it and that's just to put that through. We're gonna come up here, we're gonna grab this tail. We're gonna pull a good chunk of meat into this loop just like this and crank down on it. Then we're gonna put our foot right here in this other loop and that's going to allow us to strip this skin. And all we gotta do is pull ourselves away from this hide and you can see it's stretching out now. That's what we want. So we'll get our knife in our hand. And pull. Now right there's our legs coming out so as soon as we can get our feet fingers in there we're just going to pull those front legs off and now we're already to the head there's the ear cartilage right there on the one side There's the ear cartilage on the other side. There's the eyes. Coming down now, we'll cut this lower jaw, just like that. There we go. Now that should give us the entire face. Right there's the nose. We'll turn this thing inside out real quick and show you what that looks like. Put this knife down for a second. Okay. Let me pull this thing inside out real quick, fellas. Okay, so there's the ears. One, two. There's the eye sockets right there and the nose okay and that gives us a full face if we decided we we're going to use that for something that's a nice big beautiful coon hide right there now let's talk about something else real quick here before we go any further let me turn this hide back inside out okay now there's a couple things we can do here with this hide we can flush it over the flushing beam and start the tanning process very much like we've done already. Or if we're going to sell this fur to someone, we don't necessarily have to do anything with it. We're going to get more money for it if we scrape it 
and stretch it and go to that process and at least get that hide on a stretcher and turn it into basically a piece of raw hide with the hair in on a coon. We're gonna get more money for it that way. But if we don't wanna go through the hassle of fleshing something that has a lot of fat on it and we're just trying for sheer numbers to make some money, we can just take this thing, basically fold the tail inside just like this, roll this thing up with as much fur on the inside as we can get, roll it up, put it in a, some kind of a Walmart bag or whatever the case may be, throw this thing right in the freezer, and fur buyers will buy this fur just like this. Now, they've got machines that can flush this stuff out in no time, but you're gonna get less money for it that way. The, the best way to get your money out of fur is either to flush this thing out and turn it into raw hide, or to tan it yourself and sell it as a tanned hide. But for sheer self-reliance, long-term, whatever the case may be, you know, look at all the fat on this thing that you can use to render down, to use for baits, to use for oils, for lamps, to use for lubrication and boots and leather work and knives and things of that nature. That's a resource right there. Scraping that off and getting that off of there is a good resource for you long term. Then you've got the hide and the leather to work with after the fact. Raccoon skin coats are very, very, very warm. So if you had to patchwork one of these things together or patchwork it over another coat of some kind, you could do that, some kind of an inner shell, and it would make a very, very warm coat. So there's a lot of things you can do with the raccoon besides just what we're doing right here. And we'll talk about some of that stuff further into the trapping season and more uh, as our videos progress in this modern trapping series. I'm Dave Canterbury at the Pathfinder School. I appreciate you joining me for another video. I thank you for all your support for everything that you do for me, for my family, for my business, and for my school. And I'll be back with another video as soon as I can.